Jesus saves from hell. Jesus will save you from hell. He'll save you from hell? He will. And Death. if you're on this list. And the grave. And of course the sins and iniquity. And you're living your life. That take you there. With these, you are on your way. Porn watchers, that releases demons. Yep. Yes, you're right about that. Weed smokers, it is a substance. Idol worshippers, well, the gossipers, they gossip. Yeah. They're worried about other people's sins. That's a sin itself. Yeah. Sports nut. There's nothing wrong with sports. So for, it, it depends on how much time you're putting into it. If you're putting all your time into it, uh, it's a form of idolatry. Yes. And I can even say, getting involved, we had to agree, but I, I will tell you, it's probably more scriptural to say, getting involved in anything like that. Yes, what's it, modesty? And modesty is uh, when women or, I mean, uh, when women walk around with like, you know, you can see a booze or anything like that. Or you can oh, see immodesty, yeah, yeah not, being, not being modest. Yeah. And of course, them being Jesus modest. can save you from hell. Yes, sir. You there is no such place. Yep. He's There's inviting no you. Though. Yep. There's no such place as hell. Give me the list. A blessed and here's day. the list. If you're on this, you're on your way. And he does not want you to go. He says repent. Yes. Repent of your sins. Yep. Eternal, you're right about that. Eternal damnation. Repent yep. of your sins. Repent of so your sins. So that you may be reborn. And when you are reborn, he gives you his Holy Spirit. Yes. And his Holy Spirit, when he enters in, makes your spirit alive again. You are more aware to the things that you do on this earth. And you go on with life. Sinning less and less. And then he works on you. Hey, he ain't no Lucifer anymore. We know what no God you Lucifer. serve. He's not a true God. He's a fake God. He got himself thrown out of heaven. That guy's amazing. Somebody was screaming out hail Lucifer a little bit ago. They do that just because they're... Yeah, they're, some people are angry. Jesus saves you from hell, my friend. Yes, hell is, hell is real. The Bible mentions hell where the fire doesn't quench, where the worm doesn't die. And there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. He doesn't want you to weep or gnash of your teeth. Why did he make such a place? If you are asking, this is the reason. He made such a place for sinners because he does not allow sin to enter into his kingdom. And if you are on this list over here, ladies and gentlemen, you are on your way to hell. But the good news is Jesus wants to save you because he loves you. Jesus loves you so much. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That is a free gift, my friends. That's right. Not all souls will get eternal life. My friend, Jesus has welcomed you, you into his kingdom, but he's saying, repent, for you are on your way to hell. If you do not repent, these are the sins. These are what we all have one point in our life committed. And if you are found, guilty in front of the almighty judge 
which is Jesus. He will have no point but to send you to a place where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth, where the fire doesn't quench, where the worm don't die. It sounds horrible, my friends. But the horriblest part is what we've done to God. We have sinned against Him. Yes, we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. And this is what God says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. He is holding out his hand. He's saying, I'm knocking at the door. Will you let me in? Because he is not a forceful God. He stands at the door of your heart knocking. And he says, whoever comes, let me in, lets me in. I will come and be with them. If you open up your heart to him, this is how loving a God is. Yes. Repent of your sins. Say the sake of God. Repent. Jesus will save you from hell. Jesus will save you from hell over there across the street. My friends, it will not be a pretty sight nor a pretty place. You may ask, what will Jesus save you from? These are called sins, ladies and gentlemen. If you are on this list and you are found guilty in front of the Almighty God, you are on your way to hellfire. I promise you. And there are plenty of other sins, too. Let me get this over here. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. My sister across the street, Jesus is reaching out his hand to you. He's saying he loves you so much. He loves you so much that he gave his son for you. That's what that blood did on that cross. He shed it for you. Jesus, Jesus saves from hell. Because she don't want you to be happy. She wants to steal your, your soul. Aphrodite wants to steal your soul. She don't care about you. She's a liar, just like her father, the devil. It doesn't matter how much money you give to people. It's not going to earn your way into the kingdom of heaven. It is a good deed. It's a good act. So get right with the Lord. Get right with him while you still have time. He says, whoever shall confess with their mouth that I am Lord, glory to the Father, shall depart from all iniquity. And they shall be my son or my daughter. Sir, Jesus is welcoming you, in, 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 you into his kingdom of heaven. If you are found on this list, you are going to be found guilty in front of the Almighty God to be judged of your wickedness. Repent. That's what Jesus is saying. Repent, my, my children. That's it, my friend, over across the street. Repent. My friend, Jesus is wanting to save you from hell. Do you know the Lord Jesus? I sure hope you do. Because if you have committed any of these sins, you are on your way to hell, my friend. It is a reality. The list is not exclusive. He says, narrow is the way that leads to eternal life. A broad path is the way to destruction. It leads to destruction. If you are found guilty of any of these sins, you do not repent. It will not go well with you. Jesus will not allow any sin into his kingdom. For Jesus so loved the world 
That's what he's saying. He loves you. Everybody thinks they're going to heaven. Well, I have bad news for you people. If you are found guilty in front of God and you do not have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, he will say, you will say to him, Lord, Lord, haven't I done good deeds on the earth? He will look at you and say, depart from me, work of iniquity. I never knew you. Depart from all iniquity, he says. Repent in the name of the Most High. when one sinner repents of their sin the whole heavens they celebrate for he says the word says that he leaves the 99 sheep to go find that one lost sheep and my friends there are many sheep that will be lost there are many sheep that are heading to the burner right now people die every second every minute of the day every hour haven't you ever considered your life? You have a choice. And the choice is this. Will you spend it on the things of the world and of the world? Will you be a part of the world? Or will you lift up your hands and say, Jesus, I want to come home. For it says in this word, I go and I prepare a place for you. He has a place for you. That's what Jesus has. He has a place for you. He has a new body for you. But he says, you are living wickedly. For you must repent. This is how much he loves you. He sends people like us into the world to give you this warning. And it says the unbelieving shall have their fair share in the lake of fire which burns a fire and brimstone. That's the second death. He doesn't wish anybody to perish, but come to the, uh, repentance. You can only live once unto eternal life or die twice. My friends, there's only two choices in your life. You can either live the life that you always wanted and are, Or you can repent and have eternal life. Eternal life is where you will be with the Lord. You will not be hurt by what is to come. For in the book of Revelation, there are plagues coming to the world. Judgments, my friend. I'm going to try to get out of that wind because that wind is it's messing it up. For Jesus will save you of your sins. That is his wonderful message for you today. It's to repent of your sins. If you are on this list, any of you, you will have no escape. There will be no way it is full of darkness, my friends. This is what he wants to save us from. He wants to save us from complete total condemnation. He wants to save your soul. He wants. He loves you. He knows how many hairs is upon our head. And he's numbered every hair. He's put a number on every hair. Every he knew, cell in he knew us numbered. when we were in the womb. Every part of the cell is numbered. And my friends... Jesus Christ is coming again. And Jesus is coming as Lord of Lords. He is the Prince of Peace. He is the King of Kings. 
and he will be ascending out of heaven. Every man shall see him. Descending. My friends, it says, My friends, it says that the Lord Jesus Christ is not only going to be coming out of the sky, but he is coming with tens and thousands of his saints to judge the wicked, to bring judgment upon this earth. more how much more wickedness do you want to see uh, with the progression of technology how much more do you want to see don't you understand my friends technology is getting worse and worse yes. and there will become a day where you will have to get a mark on your hand or your forehead and you will not be able to buy or sell unless you have this mark and whoever has the mark of the beast shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven they've already got the first two stages of this final mark Be careful about my friends this is the ultimate message that jesus wants you to know, you know he loves you so much he gave his only begotten son that you, that whoever shall believe in him shall not perish but come and have everlasting life yes. because that's a loving god a loving god doesn't allow wickedness into his kingdom would you allow a raper into your house would you allow a raper into your house, ma'am? No, you wouldn't. That's just like how God is with us when we're wicked and we are uh, 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 abusive of his words. We are just like the rapers. We are just like the murderers. We are just like the fornicators. We have completed not so nice things on this earth. My friends, but he's reaching out to you today and he is warning you what is listed in the book of Revelation. He's asking you to read it. Blessed is he that reads and hears the words. Blessed is he, he says, for then you will know what is to come. We pray. We pray for us. We pray for everyone we pray for who will receive. We will. We will pray, but we do it in our closets because we are not hypocrites that stand in the corners and pray. No, we will. We promise. We can pray for you right here. Jesus will save you from your sins. Oh, I know. You can come over here if you want to. Jesus loves you. If you are found guilty of any of these sins, you are on your way to hell. This is your destination if you are not found worthy enough to accept the only begotten Son that gave His life for you. Repent. He's your only way out of the You ain't free right now. Repent of your sins. Repent means. Okay, he asked me a good question. He asked me what repent means. It means to feel sorry for what you have done against the Almighty God. To have remorse, to have remorse in your heart, and then not to do that same sin again. And when you bow down to the Almighty God that gave you life, and you self-humble yourself, He shall grant you the gift with the Holy Spirit. And instead of walking in darkness, instead of walking in unrighteousness, you will walk in the light, you will walk in lightness and righteousness. For he loves you. He loves you so much. But will you come to the Lord Jesus? But we do not have this so much. We do not have much time, sir. Jesus will save you from hell. Jesus saves you from hell. That's what he does. So if I do any of those, I'm Well, what's the Uh, wait. All right. It's a, it, it, it's a bit, like, if you're not watching it all the time, you're not, like, living your life for it, like everybody else, like, it's a kind of form of, of idolatry. Um, and idolatry is, um, worshiping, um, something, like, um, 
there's some people that worship their own cars, you know, their jobs, their careers. So when we worship something, it's a it's it's a form of idolatry. And and and, and, uh, and uh, Jesus said, "You shall have no other gods before me, for He is a jealous God." It's kind of like when they had that damn uh, COVID-19 thing, right? Sure they they either you follow the rules or you lose your job that you spent eight years oh, getting. Yep, right. exactly right. Jesus will save you from hell. That is what we're preaching the message of good news today. It's good news. It's not bad news, ladies and gentlemen. It's good news. And uh, he wants us to come out here got, and he I'm wants to say, pizza, yes. I'm going to go get my pizza. Yeah, oh, okay. That's fine, sir. Pizza, um, but he loves you. He, he loves you really much. For I was saved. I used to be a, I, I was this. Look, I was a porn watcher no, I, for 10, I, ten I, years. I still am. Yeah. I still am. And then, Trust me, I understand where you're coming from. But I was addicted for over a decade. I was, um, I was a thief. Um, I, 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 I wanted to I was a body, I, I wanted to work out on my body more than I wanted to idolize myself more than I wanted to idolize God. I was a lukewarm Christian because I was still doing this but not not living the right lifestyle. I was a liar. And and we slip up sometimes, but we are a murderer. Jesus Christ says, He who hates his brother or sister has committed murder with that person in his heart. Even though if you haven't actually committed murder, it's still murder to him. And he says right here as well. If, uh, if whoever lusts, looks upon a woman and has lust for her has committed adultery with that person in, with, in, in their heart. So that's why we have to repent. And uh, this is, uh, sex freaks right here is a kind of fornication. So if you've ever had sex before marriage, yeah, um, it's, um, it, it's, it's, it's fornication. It's, it's, uh, it's not right in the sight of the Lord. But, there, but here's the good news, all right? Because we're out here, we're not preaching hate. Like everybody thinks we are, we're preaching the love of the Lord. And he's saying this, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever come to him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That is his free gift. He's reaching out his hand to you today, sir. I don't know what your name is. What's your name? Elijah. Uh, what's that? Elijah. Elijah. Oh, Elijah. There we go. Nice. That's cool. My grandpa Oh, really? Oh, awesome. Yeah. I'm like, I'm sure that... Oh, we... This is what happens, because this is what the Lord Jesus Christ did in my life. If you, uh, you stand at the, the word says, you stand at the door and knock. Whoever opens it up, he'll come into them. He'll grant you your, his Holy Spirit, and what the Holy Spirit will do is start to work in your life. And if you, if you humble yourself upon the Lord, and you, and you, and you repent of your sins, repent is to um, realize that you've done wrong, and feel sorry for it, not remorse. And then, um, and, and then start to start to turn away from them. Yep. That's it's it's a conversion. And and and, and it says in Second Corinthians chapter five verse seventeen. It says, therefore, if any man, it says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, behold, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I'll see you around, Elijah. Thank you for talking. Get right with the Lord while you can, my friends. Right we love you all. We love you. We don't hate any one of you. We love you. Just like Jesus Christ loved us. We're not out here to condemn you. We're out here to spread hope. We're out here to tell you the truth. Because most of us, we've been living a lie. And the lie is that the devil exists and nobody's ever told you and the truth is that hell exists and you don't know about it but i promise you my brothers and sisters that if you get right with the lord he'll change your heart like he did for me i was a porn watcher for over a decade me and my wife before we were married we were fornicators i i, I was a bad liar i used to lie all the time i used to steal all the time I, 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 I hated people in my life, but now I have love for you guys. That's why I'm, we're out here. But this is what, this is what I said. I, I, I turned to the Lord, and I repented of my sins, and he came into my life, and he cleansed my heart. He cleansed my heart, and he gave me a new heart and new desires so I can come out here and preach the word of love to you, and that is... He gave his life for you, that you may live if you have faith and you trust in the begotten Son, you shall not perish. 
For grace are you saved through faith, not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Repent of your sins, yes. Jesus Christ loves you. That's why we are out here. He says, go in to the world and preach the, the gospel, the good news to all creatures. Yes, repent. I beg of you, my friends. I beg of you, my brothers and sisters, because you might not wake up tomorrow. And if you don't wake up tomorrow with Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I'm sorry to say this, but you, you shall perish. That's what, that's what the word says. Oh, okay. Oh, well. All right. The Lord Jesus Christ loves you. He loves you. He doesn't hate you. Show the sign again. Look, Jesus saves from hell. That's what we're preaching today. Jesus saves, will save you from hell. He'll save you from annihilation. He'll save you from your sin. The Bible says the soul that sins shall die. And if you wake up dying in your sins, you shall wake up in hell. Eternal torment, torment where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth where the worm doesn't die, where the fire doesn't quench. My friends, Jesus loves you. That's why he begotten his son. And if you are found with any of these sins in your lives, you shall likewise perish. We love you. That's why we are out here. We're out here to tell you that Jesus is reaching his hands out to you and saying, come to me, my child. Come to me. Stop living in the dark. Come to the light. And I will heal you. I will heal you of your sickness. I will heal you of your depression. I will heal you of anything that you've went through in your life. Without medication, repent. Hallelujah. For the kingdom of God is at hand. I don't take no medication in four years. For Jesus died an agonizing death to give us the opportunity to hear his message, to accept it or to deny it. And for those that deny his beautiful, wonderful message of salvation shall likewise perish. That's what the word of God says. Jesus will save you from hell. And if, but if you accept his good news, you are welcomed into his kingdom and he, he has a place for you. He will welcome you into his home. He will say, come, you are welcome to my house. For you have accepted the good news and you believe in the only begotten Son. We don't wish any of you to perish. But the Bible also says that my people destroy themselves for the lack of knowledge. For the lack of knowledge, my people destroy themselves, for they don't want to hear knowledge. They reject the truth. They reject knowledge. So that's why Jesus says in his word that you will also likewise be rejected. You can't be living the lifestyle of sin and be confused by the enemy, the devil, the adversary, the snake, the serpent. For he is a deceiver. He was a liar from the beginning. He was a deceiver from the beginning. And the true lie is that you can live this life full of your wicked ways and full of your wicked sins. And you'll still have that ticket to go to heaven. I'm sorry to say this, my friends, but I'm not sorry. That's not true. That is the ultimate lie of the adversary. The one who is seeking like a lion, seeking whom he may devour. Repent in the name of Jesus, for he will save you from hell. He doesn't wish anybody to perish. Please, my friends, come to the Lord Jesus while he still can be found. That's what the word of God says. For one day, 
there is coming a day that Jesus Christ will close his door just like he did on the days of Noah where he closed the ark. And on that day, 40 days and 40 nights, he sent it a flood. But he not only just sent that flood, he gave those people time to repent. Oh, he was great. He gave them over hundreds and hundreds of years because of how much love he had for us. But they refused to repent. They refused knowledge. Likewise, most of you will. But he loves you. He's reaching out to you and saying, Come to me, my child, for I have a place for you. For I have created you. I knew you when you were in your mother's womb. And if you are found guilty of any of these sins, you will go to hell. That's what he's saying. Don't go to hell, he says. Repent and be, be transformed with the Holy Spirit that he's able to give you, that he promised to give you. Hello, my guys. Hello, my friends. Repent of your sins. Jesus Christ loves you. Hi, guys. God bless you, guys. Oh, yes. Or saying that which Repent. Is good and evil. Believe in the Lord. Believe in the Lord. Don't be a lukewarm Christian. Don't be a fornicator or a sex freak. Don't be a drunkard tonight. Don't go smoking weed because that's not going to get you into heaven. You're looking for heaven on earth with weed. Jesus Christ loves you guys. He will not. Get he doesn't want you to perish in hellfire. A buzz off the speed. But do you believe in the Lord Jesus? For narrow is the way that leads to eternal life. 